Hey, everyone welcomes you to the Design Art Studio. And today, we are gonna make this. In this tutorial, I will tell you, how we can make an intro, without learning After Effects. This video is sponsored by Videoblocks.com. For this tutorial, I download this video from Videoblocks.com. Videoblocks is a subscription-based royalty-free resource providing website. Videoblocks has one of the fastest growing, largest stock video libraries, with over 3 million videos, after effects and motion backgrounds. And all of these clips, come with a royalty-free agreement, so you can't get hit, with copyright claims. Videoblocks are, giving away 7 days of video blocks, so you can try it, and get access to this massive video library, and royalty-free license for free. Click the link in the description box below, to start downloading, and get free, 7 days of videoblocks.com. You can use video blocks for so many different projects. So let's get started. Open your Filmora application, and import the video file by clicking here on import icon. We will use this video, as a background of our intro. You can play the video, and preview it by clicking this play button. Click on this add button, to add this video to the timeline. Now we will add text animations on our video. Click here on text, and credits tab, and here you can access, the pre-made presets of text animations. Scroll down to access the all pre-made text presets. Filmora has lots of the titles, and you can add any of these to the timeline by clicking this add button. And you can play and preview it. Now double click on the mouse, to edit the text. Select any of the text layers, and replace the text, and click OK. You can zoom in the timeline by dragging this point. Double click on this text track to edit it again. And click on this advance button, and select the art text layer, and align it in the center. And you can preview it again, and you can see we done with our first intro. Now we will cut out this video, to the exact time, of our text track. Drag this pointer, to the end of the text track, and select this video, and cut it by clicking this scissor icon. And delete the else part of the video. Now we will add another text track, and we will make another text animation for our second intro. But first, we need to save our project, just go to file menu and save your project. Give it whatever name you want, and save it. Click on this add track button, to add the new tracks. Select text track 2 and press OK, and you can hide or unhide any track, by click on this, I, icon. Now our first text track is hidden, as you can see, you can unhide it anytime you want. 
Now add another text animation. To the second text track, select the another text that you want to use, and just drag it to the second text track. You can preview it by clicking this play button. Now go to edit menu, and select edit option to edit this text. You can type here your name, or whatever you want. Click on the advanced button, and adjust the text size and position. And you can add shadow to the text from this menu. Click on the play button to preview it. Now we will make our third text animation, for the third intro. Just add another text track, and select another text that you want to use. Drag it to the timeline, and click edit under the edit menu, and make the adjustments to the text layers. You can also change the font if you want to change. Align the text in the center from here.
When you are done with your changes, click OK, and click the play button to preview it. And change another text, that we leave before, in this text editing. And now we are done with, all our text animations. Now we will add some music, to this intro. Go to this music tab, and select the suitable music for your intro, from here, double click on any music track to listen to it. Just select, and click on this add button on the music to add it to the timeline. And cut the music, just like we cut the video before. and you can preview it. And, we are done now, with all our text editing, and we complete, the all our three intros. Now we will export, each intro in the video file, one by one. Click on this export button, and export settings will be opened. You can export the video file for, mobile devices, or you can export video for the YouTube, Facebook, and Vimeo. Or you can burn a DVD, directly from here, the export settings window. I'm gonna save the video, directly on my computer. You can export the video file in any format, that you want like, WMV, MP4, AVI, MOV and more that you have here. You can export the video in good better and best quality. You can change encoder type, you can change the resolution, frame rate and bitrate in video settings. And same in the audio settings you can change the encoder type, channel, sample rate and bitrate. And click on the export button. Wait for the complete the process and you can view the file in your destination folder, and play it. And now export the another intro, just hide the first text track and unhide the second track and export the second video file.
and you can play it. Like this again export the third video. I hope you like this video, so please subscribe this channel, and don't forget to give the thumbs up to this video, and please share this video with your friends. And please let me know if you have any question, about this tutorial or, any other question. So please comment below in the comment section. And please stay tuned with me, for more upcoming cool stuff. And don't forget to subscribe this channel. More tutorials are coming. I'll see you next time bye.